So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece here and we're going to move it out of the way. And then you're going to get two more of 40, 80 brackets and piece number two. So now you need B5 and 6. To count them, you're going to go like this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You can take that out with the B5 bag. This should have everything you need and B6. So set those over. We should be good to go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get uh, these bearings pushed in here. So I think it just sits in there like that. Bearings actually roll really nice. Pretty happy with those. Okay. And then we're going to get the other one in there. Kind of like if it was more of a snug fit because they kind of slip out. But I think they'll be fine once the actual rod goes in there and holds it in place. If not, I'm going to add some Teflon around it. And then um, hopefully it'll sit more snug. Cool. So just grab eight of these M5 flat washers. And then we're going to just attach them to the end here in the top and the middle too. Okay, so let's get ready to install. Before we install this piece, we're actually going to add... I think the L bracket has to slide. So yeah, so we're gonna put the long side here compared to this little short one with the notch. We're gonna put the long side in first. That way it has room to slide up and down. And then do that to the other side. And just so I don't want them sliding too much, I'm actually gonna set those screws, not all the way, but just enough to where they'll hold and not slide down if I'm working with it. Literally till it just just barely bottoms out. Cool. So now you're gonna take, let's just start with the four four of these screws and you're going to need a, a different allen wrench for this. It's going to be the next size up. Not sure what size it is. No, oh, actually second size up. Perfect. It's good to check. And then you're going to face the bearing towards the extrude. So I'm hoping it doesn't fall out. And then we're going to add, I'm going to add the first screw here on the table. And what we're doing here, you can see this, but we're actually screwing it in to actual extrude hole if you can see in there okay so let me kind of just do this finger tight first okay so I'm working here with this one I'm gonna hold it to where it's nice and square top and bottom and snug them not gonna do them completely square yet because we're gonna square them against the table cool make sure everything feels perfectly flush and then we'll just attach it like that so now we'll tighten them down, not too tight, and boom. So that way we're not using too much more footage. We're just going to repeat the same exact steps onto this side because they're the same length, so it doesn't really matter which side you put them on. And then, yeah. So another te technique you can use is you can push against the top and the extrude at the same time so you can flush it against a piece of glass and that way you know it's perfectly square <laughs> if you happen to make the mistake that i just made and put the bracket on before you put the l brackets no worries the l brackets will slide all the way from the other side <laughs> so we're going to move this to the side because we're just going to get our cnc bed frame parts 